something. In my opinion, it doesn't matter, as you can tell. Um, I lost. That's the opinion of it. The, the only people in the ring that it really matters is the three people that were on the cage and they decided that it didn't matter. So that's it. Josh, when did your hand get messed up? Was it in the first or the second round? First round. Yeah. We um, <clears throat> can ask the commission guy. He was like, hey, I was like, hey, my hands broke. He asked about if I should stop the fight. I was like, no, get the hell out of here. <laughs> no, um, yeah, it just, I, yeah. First round, I came back and I was like, hey, I think it's broken. And Bob told me to suck it up, get out there. So, so Josh, how do you keep pushing forward then the next, the next three rounds? I mean, that's been a lot of the talk. I guess fighters are like hockey players, man. We don't get carried off the ground because we have cramps, right? Right, boys? See, so um, we're just gonna keep fighting. That's what that's what we're up here to do. And that's what we get paid to do. So um, that's it. I speak for everybody up here. I'm sure. You know, a broken hand, broken thumb. We all fought through it, and this is what we did. You felt like as the fight was going on. No, I had no idea until I got back after the first round in the corner, and I was um, <clears throat> just like adjusting my gloves, and I noticed that my thumb is bending all the way back to my wrist. And I was like, oh crap, I was like, what is that? And, and then I looked at it and I actually pushed it back a little bit. And even the commission kind of looked at it. Yeah, that's gross. So yeah, I didn't realize I did it until after the first round. This might sound like a weird question. You might not know what I'm talking about. But in the fourth round, you took a really long look at the, the clock. It was like midway through the round and you got the takedown. He got back up. It was kind of like a reset. You looked up at the clock. You kind of went to the ground. Out. Were you thinking anything at that point? I mean, was it frustrating that the, the hand was a hand injury frustrating? Yeah, it was really point? bugging me because even when he locked his hands around my wrist, they, they, my corner was yelling me, "Fight the hands! I can't grab anything." You know, every time I went to push down on his hands and fight his hands off to separate them, my thumb would just bend all the way back. So I was just like, it was more irritating than anything just to know that like the things that you need to do, you can't do out there. And it, you know, you train this hard for this long, such a long camp, and I mean, I see my final shots just fucking disappearing. You know. I'm not getting emotional right now, it's really irritating. You know, you're a fighter, I'm sure you'll come back. But you know, is this is this the type of situation where you think it's gonna be it's gonna be difficult to, to get back in the gym and, and start training again? Is it just the, the way in which you lost, is it gonna be do you think that's gonna be a difficult process for you? This might be it, man. Another question for Josh. Um, you've had some close decisions that haven't gone your way uh, in the past, and I know you just said this might be it. I mean, do you feel like you just can't stomach this? Like, what's the point of doing this if it's going to keep happening? No. I mean, the Gilbert fight, it, that to me was uh, a close fight, but I can see how it went either way. This fight, I felt like I won. And I won with one hand. I beat the former UFC champion. It was a guy who was here for two years, but I beat him with one hand. That's what I can't stomach. I'm a better fighter. That's what pisses me off. Is this your last fight? I don't know. I, I can't tell you. That. I'm pretty emotional as you can tell. Right. So you're gonna take some time to just regroup. Yeah, the whole strategy went out the door once the hand was gone. It was hard for me to <clears throat> to punch. I mean, every time I punched, my thumb would just stick out, so it would bend it all back, you know. And then the hand just started getting worse and worse. So I just stopped punching and just let him try to get off and get out, get to the body lock and take him down. I mean, there's nothing I could do. I could barely lock my hands either around his waist. So that's why, if you notice, I kept going to the high crotch, trying to lift him and get him down that way, or catch him and kick and taking him down. Because I can't, couldn't really lock my hands. Okay, question for Josh. You said earlier this week that if you would retire, like if you retire today or that day, you know, or tomorrow, you would feel like happy because of everything that you accomplished. Do you still feel the same, or did oh, this of course. change? No, no, of course. I mean. I was ranked number one, number two in the world in 2003, 2004. You know, I mean, I'm, I don't know. I feel like I'm so possibly in the top five right now. You know, so I have no regrets in my career, man. This has been great. This whole ride's been great. You know, I've been all around the world, fought in all the biggest organizations in the world. I have no regrets. This is awesome. But does like a loss like today <coughs> makes you like feel uh, better about like trying? I mean, make, makes you feel trying to get back to the wing again? No, or? no this might be it. Realistically, I'm just gonna go home. I'm gonna talk with my family and talk with uh, my coaches, and I'm gonna probably sit down with Dana and, and Joe and Sean and those guys and see what direction uh, we want to go. You know, that's really what it comes down to is just kind of getting the whole team together and just seeing hey, what what the plans are for me uh, in the UFC, and um, <clears throat> we'll make our decisions from there.